the weird and wonderful pop choreography that has turned us Brits into such great movers. I'm being ironic, of course. These are the days before pop videos, when dance troops would bravely step in to fill the gap when acts couldn't make it to the TV studio. It was a thankless task. Ring was never waiting for a steal. It ran one step ahead as we followed in the day. For example, here's Legs & Co interpreting Donna Summer's version of MacArthur Park. To represent the park, some of the girls are dressed as a tree. See where they're going with this. MacArthur's park is melting in the dark On the sweet green icing Blowing And yes, there's a reason for the cake. Someone left the cake out in the rain Lovely! Legs & Co were managed by Ruth Pearson, who had danced alongside Dee Dee Wilde in the original Top of the Pops dance troupe, Pan's People. Every little girl in England wanted to be a Pan's person. A lot of little boys, too. With sometimes only a few hours to prepare the dance routines, choreographer Flick Colby was forced to really define the term taking things literally. Here, she's heard one lyric we'll get high. and built a whole routine around it. The way Flick was interpreting it in the sort of hippie, flower powery thing, it was a little embarrassing to do in rehearsals. And then I just thought, oh, I loved the songs. So I thought, oh, just go with it and, you know, and be a bit do lally. <laughs> Down by Gilbert and Sullivan. We used dogs on it. These poor dogs, they were old, mangy and dogs. Smelly, terribly and smelly. smelly. It was really quite sad. We did quite a few takes because yeah. every single take, yeah. you know, one, at least one or two dogs would jump off, and then you'd go through the whole dance, and then suddenly on the last sort of two eights, yeah. another dog would jump <laughs> off. <laughs> At the end of the day, we did sort of laugh at ourselves, but in a nice way, really, and we're really very proud of what we achieved and did. Pop, pop, pop music.